Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Up and welcome back to Minecraft Age of Engineering. And uh, yeah, when we last left off, we will have the ability to fly, we have the ability to have a... Yes, of course, I love it, love it, love it. But, we have more pressing matters at hand. I let the game run for quite some time yesterday. And uh, yeah, we're, we're doing good, but this chest is getting full. So... What I'm thinking about doing is making a buffer chest to go in between this. So, and the only thing that I could think of that would work, that would be large enough, would be a crate. So, let's get started. So, as we all know, we need a, uh, we need nine plates of each gold. And, um, and, and iron. Of course. So we're gonna go over here to our little machine and throw these in here and take a look at everything while while that's working. Let's just take a look at uh, nutrient distillation is full. Oh, finally, finally, yes. Our uh, our seed situation, canola seed situation, is doing good. Um, for some reason, we have a draw on the system. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Where is that draw coming from? By the way, if if, if anybody's like, hey, Dragon, well, that's new. Uh, I actually made a second vibrant capacitor and put it over here. I mean, we had the materials. We needed to make it for, you know, the back of the jetpack. So I was like, well, you know what? Why not? We, we kind of need the power, you know, so... I gotta figure out why why are we using that much power? Is it because of this? I don't know. But just as simple as that, our plates are done. Is that was that causing No? Oh, 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 oh. I know, I know why. Never mind, never mind. I know why we have a draw on the system. I'm actually making Restonia, uh, empowered Restonia. Alright, so now that we've got our, our plates, we need to put these in a compressor and compress them down. And as you can see, I was making some uh, carbon plates. I need to get a, get a system where it's actually automated or try to make it automated to a point where I don't have to worry about them. Um... Yeah, so that way I don't have to really worry about anything. All right, that's a dense gold plate. Let's go over here. Let's grab um, stack of you, stack of you, and take half of that, and then go make one stack of this. There we go. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. And then I need to grab two diamonds. Awesome. All right, so look at crate. And let's see, we need chests. No problem, no problem. Boom, there we go. Now that we've got the chest, we need this, the wooden casing. Pop goes the weasel, there we go. Small storage crate, no problem, no problem. So what would it, be, what would it take to small to medium storage crate you need medium storage crate around some wood you need a small storage crate so we're gonna need nine more and this i'm gonna do this in the uh in the sawmill um our little mill that chops chops the stuff up because i don't know there's multiple ways, there's multiple ways we can make, uh, you know, blocks and ingots and things of that nature, so, or plates and things of that nature. So, we've already got a small storage crate. What happens if we wanted to upgrade it to a medium? Um, we just need void crystal blocks. We need four void crystal blocks. I think I have enough for that. Let's grab these and one, two, three, four, and then put this back up. 
so medium all right we've made a medium crate and just so everybody knows if you want to look what a medium crate is you uh, as you can see with this crate we have this page whereas with the medium crate we have this page plus this page so now that we've got the medium crate we need empowered void to make the um, the next ones so because because of the nature of this and I don't want to lose any of the materials or have it all backed up or have a potential because you see this thing is slap full if we go over to our um, Come on. I don't know how full this thing is. It's not very full. But our void resource miner is probably over here. Just super, super full. No? Okay. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Okay. But, yeah. You get the point, though. If this thing gets super full, then... Yeah, that's just that's not a good time. Especially since, you know, over here over here there's there's a lot more going on because I have I have the ores going in they're getting processed and getting put back into the chest and then we got the ores being brought in by the alloy smeltery right here and then it's getting cooked up and then being put back into the chest to get shipped off and to putting into the system so if I replace this now with a uh, with a medium, I mean, I could put it in there with a medium. I'm going to make it large. I'm going to do large. So let's do large. Let's do make the four uh, the four Restonia, or the four empowered um, void crystals. So let's, I've never made a void crystal before, so this is going to be interesting. All right, so uses. Uh, I need to look at the top here. For the pedal stand. Uh, oh, wait. Right now, as it stands, it's just a block of coal. There we go. Now we have void crystal blocks. There we go. It powers. So, we need a piece of coal coke. I don't know if I have any, like, leftover coal coke. I always know I do, because I always, you know, use the cold coke, piece it, and then we don't use it. There we go. Piece of cold coke. We need four of them. So we got four. What else do we need? We need a necrotic bone. So four necrotic bones. Hopefully I have four necrotic bones. Oh, no. We only have two. All right. That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll go get some in here in just a second. Uh, so we need two, four black quartz and four ink sacks. There we go. Let's grab our necrotic bones. He uh, actually, no. No, no, no. I won't grab those necrotic bones. I'll wait, um, to do that. But I do want to go ahead <clears throat> and implement this system. So what I could do is have this in this place here should have all the same settings as it did before. And then what I could do is put this chest here with the item conduits. Like so. They're not touching. I don't want them to touch. So this would be completely insert. This will be extract always active. And then all it will do is just toss everything into this crate. I can even probably toss a uh, upgrade or two in here to make it faster so that way this chest never gets or never stays full it'll always be empty all right so let's grab you another up, up speed upgrade there should be no bias to, to what you're doing here guys come come on because this also is the line for our uh, mob farm I just need to find a way to get all of this taken care of. Yeah, I know. We're, we're good for right now. We're good for right now. So, that should work. It should work. I'm going to monitor it for a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is getting dumped into here. 
everything is then being transferred out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's um, build this back up like so. Perfect. All right, so we have this. Let's grab these out of there. Rose red. I was making a bunch of Restonia, but I need I need this stuff here. Oh, there we go. And then okay, so now I can put in the coal coke. In this one, I put the ink sacks in that one. I need four black quartz. Four black quartz will go into this one. Now all we need is the necrotic bone. Which, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go get. Which is no big deal because we've got our super overpowered Lucy sword. So, hopefully we ha we'll have everything taken care of. So, let's put this on to the smash. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a bite to eat before we head off on the adventure. And now that we can fly, this makes this venture a lot easier. Oh my goodness, does it make it a lot easier? Because, yeah, like, remember how we used to have to use our traveling wand to, to simulate flying? Now, just like, oh, you know what? Fly, fly away. And then grab our sword. Hello? I don't want you to knock off. Come here. Uh, make sure I get my uh, my magnet. Keep on top of my food situation. Hello. Yeah, and these pet pesky uh, pesky guys who who think they can fly and and get away from me. No, not anymore. You know what? Let's let's hover. It's sim it's somewhat creative flight. Somewhat. We just gotta be careful and keep an eye on our battery because our battery drains super super quick when we're like this. Alright, so V and then drop down. There we go. Come here. You can knock off. Come on. Oh, I'm hitting them with the with a baguette. No wonder they I wasn't doing too much damage. I was hitting them with a baguette. Mm. Alright, so it's gonna it looks like it's gonna take me a few seconds to actually get the necrotic bones that I need. So give me just a second to continue fighting these guys. And uh yeah. I'll be right back when I get them. Be right back. Well, I was only able to find two, and I, that took me, even that took me like 30 minutes, so I'm going to do my best to, to make this quick, make this painful, painless, painless, not painful, uh, I'm going to just, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the two that I had, and uh, go with it, just, just. Yep, yeah, just go with it and just get it done uh, so we can get this this upgrade. Uh, so what I may need to do is probably next episode because we do need a lot more necrotic bones in the future. We also need, not only that, we also need, um, we'll also need like withered skeleton heads and stuff. So next episode, what I think I might do is add the withered skeleton to our little uh, uh, list add them to our farm over there also another thing that we need a lot of later is um is blazes so i may actually add, add to you know be like an upgrade massive upgrade to our farm because i don't think i need any more anything other than maybe wither skeletons or wither in the in the blazes uh if we do need that of uh, more than that then we can just add them as needed but uh yeah so i don't know if this is working uh, it looks like it's working. 
Is it draining? It takes 12 million. So, looks like it's going to take a while. I don't see the little, the beams. I mean, I guess the beams are like almost invisible. That's kind of cool how some of the particle effects like disappear behind the, the invisible beam. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. So now that we've got that, I mean, it's going to be hard to, to transfer this out now, but uh, we're full on copper and we indeed are. So do what I normally do in this situation. Actually just grab a stack. And let's make an up let's make a couple up or yeah, make a few upgrades for this. I'm gonna have to make some more blank templates here soon. Uh, but as as things get as things get full up, I basically just come through because we have the resources now and it's not really a waste, especially when it comes to like you know ingots and ores and things of that nature. I just make an emerald upgrade because we do get emeralds from our vein ore miner, so or the void void ore miner. We get emeralds. Like I got emeralds out the yin yang now. We don't we don't have to go trading with the with the peoples anymore. But basically, I come over here and put put an emerald upgrade in there and let it go, so this thing can continue to run. Eventually, I'll have to put uh you know keep adding on the emerald upgrades. But I'd rather do that and and have this have these crates or these uh, drawers hold a lot rather than putting like void uh, void things on them because like if you put what's the point in actually processing it if we're not using it so yeah um how many have you got one yet yeah we've got one so far so that's awesome that's awesome but other than that, yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to do other than, uh, oh, we could make another, could make another crate for some other reason. But, uh, let's take a look at, uh, over here, make sure our resource miner and ore miner is working well. Whoop, I need to turn my, uh, magnet off. Uh, there we go. All right, this thing is completely empty. It's it's really good on power. This guy is really good on power. It's looking really really good. Let's uh, let's go put these away. Oh, there we go. Put this away. And every time I come over to put those away, it's always full. So I just put them in an excess chest. Who knows? We may need them. That's okay, that's okay. I wonder what would it call for to make it, to upgrade this guy to a different tier. So let's let's refer to our digital e-tech, uh, environmental tech thing. Uh, let's go ore miner. So we've got tier two. What would be for tier three? So we would need 50, we would go from 32 structure blocks to 56 tier three structure blocks. So let's take a look at structure. So we've got the tier ones, we've made the tier twos. What is involved in making tier three? Tier three is just a, some ender pearls, redstone, and glowstone. Are you serious? We can do that. That is super easy. That is super super easy. And then tier four, uh, tier four, we might need to you know back off a little bit because it does take a nether star. But tier three, tier three, we can achieve that quite simply. We've got Enderman that we're farming. We've got redstone coming in from the, the void ore miner. Glowstone also coming in from the void ore miner. Uh, now the only thing that I have a question of is um, how hard would it be to upgrade from tier two to tier three? Tier two to tier three takes some mica, which is not a big deal. It needs two of the tier two void uh, or minor things, and we also need stabilized ender pearls. Okay, so stabilized ender pearls come from ender pearls and end diamond. End diamond comes from an atomic calculator. 
Okay, so we can't make the atomic calculator just yet. So what are we needing to do in our guide? Uh, let's see, we need to go from automation, uh, build a quarry. I mean, we're, we basically have got infinite power now as it is. I mean, I guess we could get a quarry. I don't see what the point is. I mean, I could just wait for the resources. Uh, modular storage. Let's let's look up modular storage. Modular. Uh, let's see at modular. Uh, I guess that's not a, a thing. Uh, I wish it was more specific on the modular storage because I don't know what modular storage is. <coughs> All right. So what is it to make the nuclear age? Says now that you can create machine frames and the modular storage, you can start working on replicating things with UU matter. Modular st still modular storage. Modular modular storage. Okay, so I need a machine frame with a chest, and well, let's let's start working on that. I mean. We're waiting on this to finish. Might as well, right? So, let's grab my machine frame. Which it should be in here somewhere. I didn't use it. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Machine frame. There we go. The one that we made long, long time ago. Finally getting used for it. <laughs> okay, we've got a chest in our inventory. What else do we need? Three pieces of quartz and three redstone. I grabbed four, so. So, redstone, I think, is was like that, 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 this, and then the chest. There we go. Modular storage. All right, so let's take a look at this bad boy. Storing stuff. Modular storage. Okay. No idea how to use this. No idea at all. So... Yeah, that's the thing. I made it. Not needing... Not knowing what, I, what it does. But I probably need to work up on it. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Machine frames. You should work on getting three key items. One, iridium plates. Which you get from replicating... Iridium in the replicator. Okay, so let's look at replicator. So we've got a replicator, which takes reinforced stone. We've got that a uh, couple of HV transformers, an MFE, three teleporters. Okay, so how do we make a teleporter? We need a frequency transmitter, which is just that. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to get back into Envi or IC2 stuff, which is not that bad. But that means we do have to go and uh, get some more rubber, because that's, that's something we've not really... I really haven't been working on, is getting, getting rubber and stuff. So, we may be good, we may be not. Alright, so let's grab these three things here. Uh, so each, we need frequency transmitters, we need three of them. And they don't stack, unfortunately, so... Alright, so now that we've got that, we need an advanced machine casing. So let's put this frequency transmitters over here. Uh, I'll put them away somewhere else later. Uh, so we need an advanced machine casing, which needs... Uh, let's see, did we... where did I put my plates? Here they are, the iron plates. So we'll make this here. Put that there, put these back. Uh, luckily enough for me, I was making some of these, so we need two and two and steel. Oh boy. Uh, did I misplace my steel? Uh, no, here we go. Need four of those. So two there, four around here, and then two there. There goes our advanced machine casing. I think we'll need three of those. But for now, let's take a look and see if we can just get one of these teleporters made. Uh, so we'll need diamonds, three diamonds. Put those there. 
Uh, we'll need the wiring or cabling. I think I have some extra in here. Yeah. Let's just grab all of those and just stack it like so. Uh, and then we'll need some advanced circuits, which takes Restonia and Palis. And, oh, we're going to need more. Okay, come here. Give me a piece of uh, stack of copper. Going to need some more wire. Going to need some more uh, some more rubber. So, in t in lieu of that, we may need to make start working on a rubber tree farm in the next episode. But for me, I'm actually going to end it there, uh, due to the fact that there's just a lot of stuff that we need before we actually get this up and running, which is unfortunate. <laughs> That this episode is really really short but uh I, I was trying to get into something that uh that i'm not i wasn't i wasn't ready for apparently so let's see can we break this um there we go let me come over here before we do in the episode though we can actually get this fixed and running to make this a large crate so let's grab Four pieces of wood. And it makes the large storage. Awesome. So, uh, we did get our large storage today. And I'm going to put all of this in here. Uh, the S, that, nether quartz, copper. Okay. So, all that is done. All of that's taken care of. We do now have a, our large storage crate. Wait, what? Oh, put in the wrong space. There we go. I put it in the wrong space. It goes right there. And we can just do all this. Uh, probably need to grab my magnet just in case any loose ends are falling out somewhere. Oh, give me... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Put all of this away, all of that away. Coal ore can go in there. That can go in there. There we go. Let's go grab one piece of cobble and plop it there. Now I still have access to this and don't have to worry about it. Anyway, like I said, this episode is kind of short. I do apologize, but we did get something accomplished. We did uh, make this where it's not always struggling uh, and that there's a free flow between uh resource miner ore miner and or the resource miner and the void ore miner all the way to this area this also is a relief on our uh mob farm system and we've got three pages so if i decide to, to leave this game going for afk for a number of hours and you know it does get backed up then we're not losing anything uh especially if if the chest over there or the crate over there at the void ore miner gets full it's not sitting there ticking away and not producing any resources. So, yeah. Anyway, if you do have any other tips, tricks, or any other uh, any other ideas that you would like me to do, build, things of that nature, please do remember to leave them in the comments down below. I do read every single comment, and I do, I do, uh, I do enjoy feedback because, yeah, you guys let me know what, uh, what you want to see. Other than that, thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time. See you later.